structure saying that Jesus was God or Jesus was part of God and also to say that Jesus died on the cross. The Quran in chapter 4, I believe 157, uh, it says very clearly that they did not kill him, they did not crucify him, but it, it appeared so to them. So we don't believe Jesus died. From the main reason, the concept, we believe that every human being has an individual relationship with our Creator. No doubt all of us, we commit sins, all of us commit errors. But Islam teaches very clearly, and even I would say the Bible teaches very clearly, that when a, an individual commits a sin, they should repent. They regret it in their hearts. They try to stop. To, uh, they, they, they try their best to stop committing the sin, and they make intention not to commit the sin, and they seek forgiveness from God alone, from Allah alone. And if they do that sincerely, they will be forgiven. We don't believe that the second person in the Trinity had to come down in the form of a human being, be born from a woman, be su uh, suffer, be overpowered by his enemies, and then crucified. We. The Quran, Islam, completely rejects that a human, uh, sorry, that mankind needs a human sacrifice, or we need an intercessor between us and God. In Islam, we worship God directly. So that's the point of the crucifixion. And as for, and the point is, we believe Jesus was a messenger. How does that sound to you? I don't know. Like I, uh, I believe in some gods, but I, uh, I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim. And, uh, okay. I go to meditate to the okay. London Buddhist center, you okay. know, even though I'm not a Buddhist. Okay. I'm just uh, kind of curious about... You, 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 want, you want to have a relationship with God, basically? Uh, well, I already kind of have some kind of relationship okay. with Him. Okay. But, uh, I don't follow any religion. Okay. Um, so you believe there's, there's one God? Yeah, I do. Okay. And do you believe that this God created his creation with a purpose or just random? Uh, like, probably, most likely with a purpose. Like for example, the sun. If you ask anyone, why did God create the sun? Then we would say to give light, to give heat, to yeah. give energy, to cause the plants to grow. You know, the list is long. And we can actually go through everything we know around us. Even the things like this jacket, this bag, these uh, sunglasses. The person who made it, made it with a purpose. So, as Muslims, we say very clearly that Allah created us with a purpose. And as, as you've already said, that seems reasonable. It seems to make sense. Yeah. Now, the, the second question from this would be, do you think that God would leave all human beings to guess their own purpose or come up with their own purpose? Or do you think that he would inform us? Well, uh, most people are not getting informed, isn't it? Yeah, no. Because there are people on, living on islands completely yeah. isolated with the, yeah. from the rest of the world. Of course. And they don't get any of these messages. You're, tr you're, 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 you're correct. But I'm just talking in principle, the first principle, and then we can work on from it. Do you think that God would inform us, or Allah would inform us, or He would leave us? Aimless. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, well, He didn't inform those people in, on islands, okay. isn't it? No, but uh, we're talking general, but what would make sense to you? That He would inform us, or He would leave us? Yeah, it would make sense to inform us. Okay, I, I like the way you think. It's very honest, very open. Like, just to come away from that for a moment, What's interesting, if you look at yourself, the sunglasses, if we were to ask, I don't know, 50 people in Stratford, the purpose of the sunglasses, most of them are going to say the same thing, to look nice and also to protect your eyes. You, you won't really find anyone who doesn't say, I don't know. You won't find anyone who says, one thing and someone else says something else. The same with the bag, the same with the shoes, the same with the watch, etc, etc, etc. But when it comes to the Creator, if we ask the same 50 people, some people may say there's no Creator, some people would say different purposes, some people would, I think, to be happy, to have children, to help each other. 
But what we say is only reasonable that God selected messengers to inform people. The Quran is, is very clear. I forgot the name of the chapter, but I, I'll get you the reference. But in the Quran, it mentions very clearly that Allah says, "Wama khalaqtul jinna wal insa illa liyabadun." I did not create. Uh, I did not create jinn, which is a separate creation. We can come to that. I did not create jinn and, and mankind except to worship me. So we have been created to worship God, to recognize Him and live our life the way He wants. But mankind has free will. Allah also mentions in Quran chapter two a, a very, a very nice, a very clear verse, which basically Islam is built upon this verse. It mentions la ikraha fitin. There is no compulsion in religion. I can't force you to believe or to be Muslim. You can't force me, for example, to leave Islam. Even if I forced you. For whatever reason I forced you, even if you followed everything that a Muslim done, if you're not doing it from the heart, if you're not doing it from the heart, then it's not included. It wouldn't be accepted. So you can't force someone. But then the verse continues with, with, with a very nice point. But the truth has been made clear from error. So all human beings, we have free choice. But the truth has, has to be clear and the falsehood has to be clear. So that's one of our main points of Islam. That it's very clear. There's one God, worship Him alone. That's what all the messengers came with. And something else I would add, that the messengers, they came with books. And because we would say that if a person studies, even if you look at biblical scholarship, they will tell you that the uh, books of the Bible, they haven't been preserved. Or we don't know who the original authors are. People would differ on who the author are. But with the Quran, Allah mentions in chapter 15, verse uh, number 9, that we are the one we are the one who has sent down the reminder and we will preserve it. God is saying that he has sent down this Quran and he will protect it. Why? Because Muhammad وسلم, we are saying is the last messenger and he's the last messenger for mankind. Therefore it's only from God's justice and from his mercy that the message should be available to everyone. As for the, the point you mentioned about people who the message hasn't come, the Quran is very explicit that Allah doesn't punish a people until a warner has come to them. So those people who never received the message, the, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu the Messenger of Allah, he has informed us that they will be individually or they will be tested on the day of judgment. So they will say that I was too old, I was born in a time between messengers, or even if they were you know, they had some impediment which, which prevented them from hearing the truth, either in themselves or in the way they live. Those people will be tested on the Day of Judgment. But human beings, even without um, a book coming to them, even without um, a messenger coming to them, they may not know the details, they may not know all the names and attributes of God, they may not know what God wants, but the human being by themselves, they can recognize there is a God. By even the human being in, in, in of, of themselves, even those people who uh, deny, human beings, they have a need, they have a desire to look for something greater than them and, sub and, and submit to it. So we, we will see in every time, in every place, in every uh, group in humanity, they've always had a God. Whether they call it by a different name or they describe it in a different way, human beings have always had a need to turn to God and they found satisfaction in turning to God. This is something which is in the Quran, chapter 7. Uh, Allah mentioned that from our father Adam, he took all the souls out before we were born. And Allah, he asked, Alastu bi rabbikum, am I not your Lord? And they said, Qalu bala. All the souls said yes. And then there's a, a hadith which is means a narration, a statement from the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in which he said, Every child born is born on fitrah. Fitrah means your natural state. That, that child on, the, on a natural state will recognize God is one. So we have this internally, to recognize God is one. Second, you know, we have intellect. 
the mind when we look around us, the sun, the moon, the stars, the rain, the changing of the day and the night, when we look at the changing of the seasons, even if we look at a, a child, the way they come into this world, how they become old and how they die. An intelligent person, intelligent I don't mean uh, university in degrees, I mean intelligent, he has common sense, he, ha he uses his uh, faculties of reasoning, he will recognize there's a God. So, yeah, it's uh, a lot of information for just one go. No problem, Thank no problem, so sir. No time. problem, sir. Did you get you got a Quran, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, this is the last thing. Last thing. Yeah. We're here every Saturday. Yeah. If you have any questions, right. then feel free. Thank okay, you. sir. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, all the best. Thank you.